The world is constantly on the move and transportation is an essential part of our lives. For centuries, trains have been one of the most reliable and efficient modes of transportation. But with the increasing demand for the speed and comfort, traditional railway systems are facing new challenges. That's where the high speed free rail project comes in. The high speed three rail project is a revolutionary transportation infrastructure project that aims to build a new high speed rail network across the country. This project represents a massive leap forward in rail transportation technology and it promises to deliver unprecedented speed, safety and comfort to the passengers. Join us as we take a closer look at the high speed three rail project and learn more about the technology, the challenges and the benefits of this ambitious transportation initiative. The Northern Powerhouse Rail NPR initiative aims to greatly enhance the economic potential of the north of England through a major rail program that features new and improved railway lines. The program was adopted in 2014 and it seeks to transform rail services between major towns and cities in the region. The original scheme, including building a new high-speed rail line from Liverpool to Warrington and continuing to join the HS2 tunnel, which would then connect to Manchester Piccadilly Station and continue to Leeds with a stop at Bradford. The project would have improved journey times and frequency between major northern cities while also creating more capacity for local services. However, in 2021, the Johnson government scaled back the project in the integrated rail plan for the North and Midlands IRP and instead of building a dedicated high-speed line to Leeds via Bradford, only dedicated high-speed rail track from Manchester to Marsden, West Yorkshire will be built. The track will then join the upgraded Trans Pennine line to Leeds via Huddersfield. The House of Commons Transport Committee expressed concerns in July 2022 that the evidence base for the IRP was insufficient and that a full analysis of wider economic impacts of different NPR options is needed. In October 2022, the Trust Government announced plans for a full new high-speed rail line from Liverpool to Hull, including a stop at a new station in Bradford, whilst the succeeding government stated in its November 2022 financial statement that only the core part of NPR would be funded. NPR is part of the High Speed North proposal which includes improvements to both roads and rails and aims to enhance the transport connections between major northern English cities and transport hubs. The High Speed 3 rail project, like any large-scale infrastructure project, is not without its challenges. Here are some of the main challenges that the project faces. Number one is funding. Building a high-speed rail network is an expensive endeavor. The high-speed three rail project requires a significant amount of funding and securing the necessary investment from the government and private investors can be challenging. The second is land acquisition. Building a new rail network requires acquiring land, which can be complicated and time-consuming process. The project may face resistance from property owners, environmental groups, and other stakeholders who may be affected by the construction. The third one is technical difficulties. Building a high-speed rail network is a complex undertaking that requires a high degree of technical expertise. The project may encounter technical difficulties related to the design, construction, and operation which can lead to delays and cost overruns. Another challenge is political opposition. Large infrastructure projects often face political opposition from different interest groups and stakeholders. The high-speed three rail project may face opposition from politicians and other groups who may have conflicting interests or concerns about the project's impact on their constituents. Public perception. The success of the high-speed three-rail project will depend on how the public perceives it. The project may face skepticism or resistance from people who are not convinced of the benefits of the high-speed rail or who are concerned about the project's impact on the environment, economy or the communities. The high-speed rail three project, also known as Northern Powerhouse, is expecting to bring numerous benefits to the north of England, including number one, faster and more frequent connections. 
The project aims to improve rail services between major towns and cities in the north of England, making it faster and easier for people to travel between them. The second benefit is increased capacity. The project is expected to create more capacity for local services on lines that express services would have been moved out from, easing overcrowding and making rail travel more comfortable. The third benefit is economic growth. The improved connectivity and increased capacity are expected to encourage economic growth and create new job opportunities in the north of England. The fourth one is reduced journey times. The HS3 rail link between Manchester and Leeds is expected to reduce journey times by up to 30 minutes which will benefit commuters, business travelers and leisure travelers alike. Another benefit is improved connectivity to major airports. The project is expected to improve connectivity to major airports such as Manchester Airport which will benefit the tourism industry and the businesses in the region. The last benefit is environmental benefit. The project could encourage more people to use public transport, reducing carbon emissions and improving air quality. Overall, the HS3 rail project has the potential to significantly enhance the economic potential of North of England and improve the quality of life for those who live and work in the region. The key components of the HS3 project are upgrading existing railway lines, building new railway lines, introducing high-speed trains, improving connectivity, creating a more sustainable transport system. The HS3 project will also help to create more sustainable transport system in the north of England by reducing carbon emissions and air pollution. High-speed trains are more energy efficient than traditional trains and they produce fewer emissions per passenger kilometer. The cost of high-speed rail projects can vary greatly on the specific project and factors such as the distance covered, the technology used and the complexity of the construction. For example, the cost of HS2 high-speed rail project in the UK is estimated to be around £50 billion for the entire project, while the cost of the proposed HS3 rail link is estimated to be around £7 billion. The estimated cost of the Northern Powerhouse Rail project is around £40 billion. However, according to the final estimated cost of the project could be slashed by as much as £9 billion following a rigorous cost challenges. One key section of the Northern Powerhouse Rail alone could deliver a £22 billion boost to the Northern economy by 2060. The project aims to radically improve the North Asian rail network, in turn creating thousands of jobs, economic opportunities and taking the equivalent of 58,000 cores off the road. That's all for today. Thank you for joining.